Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm showing you a day in my life as a college student who wakes up around 4am. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not saying you need to wake up super early to be productive, and also, I do make sure that I get enough sleep. Let's begin with the night before. I usually try to go to bed by 9pm so that I can get at least 7 or 8 hours of sleep. I also like setting alarms for earlier than 4 just because it takes me about an hour to get out of bed. The first thing that I always do after waking up is basic hygiene stuff, brushing my teeth, washing my face. Hi everyone, I just woke up. It's around 5 o'clock now. I woke up around 4.30 even though I was supposed to wake up at 4. As you can see, it's completely dark outside. I've basically just like brushed my teeth, washed my face so far because I get out of bed really slow. So now I'm going to go ahead and prepare my breakfast. I always make a big batch of oats every weekend um, and I still have some of that left over so I'm going to eat that. I'm also going to be a little quiet because I don't want to wake my roommates up. I love making a big batch of steel-cut oats every weekend because it's a healthy meal that I can eat every morning. My roommate and I had run the dishwasher the night before, so while the oats were heating, I just quickly put away my dishes. Something that I struggle with is procrastinating while eating and watching Netflix. And I really don't like doing that, so today I decided to watch lectures instead and start my day off with more productivity. After finishing my food and my lecture, I decided to take a break by taking a shower. Usually I start getting really tired at this point, which is why I make myself a cup of coffee. I made sure to learn from my mistake from my previous short video and made sure to hold onto the glass while it filled up. If you know, you know. So the whole point of me waking up early is to give myself more time to study while my brain is still functioning because it doesn't work too well at night, but I've noticed that most of my mornings are spent just preparing lunch for when I go out to a library just so I don't have to like look for food while I'm already at a library. Today I made an egg sandwich. Next I packed my bag for the day and opened the blinds because the sun was finally starting to rise. Sorry I didn't get to talk much before, my roommate was asleep, but now she's awake so I can talk more clearly and loudly. Um, so my roommate and I are thinking of going to the law library today because I've heard it's really nice and I've never been there. And I just want to be productive and I feel like I can't really do that in my room. But as you saw, most of my morning was spent on like eating my breakfast and watching a lecture while doing that. And then also preparing my lunch, which I just boiled some eggs and made like an egg salad sandwich. And so I packed that and then I have my backpack ready. My roommate's currently getting ready, but after she's ready, we're gonna head out. I think we ended up staying in the law library for about four hours, and these are just a couple of time-lapse clips from that study session. to the health education campus. I'm waiting for a shuttle to come. Actually, I think it's coming right now. The school has shuttles that take us to different buildings around campus because the campus, the undergraduate campus is pretty small, but the graduate schools are kind of far away. So I ended up switching locations because my friend was leaving the law library and I didn't want to stay there alone because there was pretty much no one in that library. I just came into one of the study rooms in the building. Um, this building is called Samson Pavilion. I'm not really sure what the purpose of this building is except for it having some, like an area to study. Um, I'm in a group room right now because no one is in here. If another group needs it, I will leave. But I just like having a little bit more space to myself and being able to talk and like not being in the quiet rooms because I feel awkward making any sound at all. This room comes with a skeleton, so that's nice, but I don't really need that. A lot of the rooms are taken, but I wanted to get this corner room because it has floor-to-ceiling windows, which is really nice. It's just nice to be able to see outside. I ended up staying in this building for about three hours, and I didn't want to leave, but you'll see why I had to leave. Until then, enjoy me studying in this building.
I'm honestly kind of falling asleep at this point because it's 11.30 right now or 11.22 and I've been awake since like 3.50. I've just been laying in bed, but I technically woke up at 4.30. So I'm kind of tired, but I already drank two cups of coffee, so I don't want to drink more. So I'm just going to try to study a little bit more and then maybe head home around like 3 or 4 because I do have to volunteer tonight. Unfortunately, I have to head home now because I left my MacBook charger at home and my MacBook's dead. So the first thing that I did when I got home was put my MacBook on charging because I need that thing. I'm making myself from lunch now. Sorry, it's kind of messy. It's 3.10 right now. I just finished eating and I also washed my makeup brushes, which are, sorry, my room is really messy, but whatever. Um, I just finished cleaning my makeup brushes and I'm thinking of just going to volunteer right now, even though my shift doesn't begin for another few hours. I ended up filming an Ipsy haul instead of leaving to volunteer then, so go check that out. Hi, I'm currently editing this video and I just realized that I never said that I wouldn't be able to film during my volunteer shift. So this is just a disclaimer, the next clip you'll see will be me getting out of my volunteer shift. And then I also wanted to mention that I tried to make this video as realistic as possible, not making it too like aesthetic or faking things to make the video more aesthetic. Just because I feel like being messy, being disorganized is just a normal part of life, especially for college students. So I'm showing you whatever is real. So please don't judge any disorganization or any messiness in this video because that is completely normal. All right, so this is me leaving my volunteer shift. Thank you. I just finished my volunteer shift and I cannot wait to go home and shower. I like wearing a mask outside because it's so cold that my face freezes if I don't. So I'm gonna bring this back up, but I'm gonna be biking home, which I'm really grateful for having a bike because it would be such a struggle if I had to walk home in this weather but it also gets really cold on the bike because there's so much more wind, I guess. This is also really awkward vlogging in public. I've never done this before, but thankfully not many people are around and my bike hasn't gotten stolen. I will see you when I get home. I made it home finally and my fingers are completely frozen. Currently in the elevator, as you can tell. I was really hungry when I got home, so I just quickly made myself some avocado toast. And I ate that while working on a genetics assignment. My roommate just gave me some lemon cake that one of our friends made and it's so good and I'm gonna eat this while I finish my genetics assignment. I just finished brushing my teeth, but it's currently almost 12.30. I don't know if you can tell, but definitely not waking up at four tomorrow. But I will say I do wake up at four at least five or six days of the week. So this video is pretty accurate as far as like my wake up schedule goes and pretty much my day unless I have classes. So I'm gonna go to bed because I've been awake for what, like 21 hours almost? 20 hours, so I would love some sleep right now. I hope everyone has a great night. Good night.